I'm supposed to be riding in that bus. It came late. In this episode, guys, we are going to feature to you the type of soil here. In Musafa, as you can see, if it, this is going to be wet, wow, this is like to be very muddy for sure. So this is the kind of soil here in the traffic island here in Aikad City. If this is going to be wet, this is very muddy. And if it is like very dry, this will contribute to dust storm, especially when there is a strong wind. Let's try to explore another part of the soil here. The dust particles of the soil normally is congregating here at the side of this concrete barrier. Since it is lighter, that is why once it is being flown by the wind, it will congregate here because the granules of it are smaller and finer and it travels faster because its weight is lighter. So these are the sands or the dusty portion of the soil here in Musafa. Another proof that the soil here is dusty is this one. You'll be thinking that the dust here is very potent for planting. I suppose, yes. You know, just a general thought to those who are planning to even have their garden here in the desert. The essential ingredients or components for you to be able to plant are just the soil. In any type of soil like sandy, loamy, and the natural soil in itself. Just mix it up. Plus water, sunlight, and the air. Then, eventually, you will have a garden. You will have a plant. So far, I didn't see any attempt here in this particular section that people are planting because for sure the plants will not be able to survive without the continuous assistance of anyone who would plant and continuously be supplying it with water. You know, water in the desert is expensive because it has undergone the process of desalination and accordingly desalination process is an expensive one this is really true to middle eastern countries wherein there is a scarcity of potable water so what they are doing for the government and the constituents to survive is to desalinate the water. They have water desalination facilities. Mm -hmm. So we are seeing here a wide span of dusty soil. And some of the dusty soil already have been clinging to each other. As the time goes by, it developed into like a, a concrete structure that sticks together that could not be disintegrated unless you are going to pulverize it. So 
So I am now stepping on the portion of the traffic um, the traffic island we're in in the middle of it you will be seeing a land formation that seem to be that seem to be appearing like valleys but don't misinterpret it this is like a a man-made structure only when they constructed the road here intently they also built traffic island and in this traffic island in between they have they have put bulk of dusty soil I believe beneath it are just sand and over the years as sand dust or the dust are being lifted from one place to another and then it came here it cooled off and I suppose there is a plan for the government to also put some kind of plants in the middle or in the traffic island because there is an installation of hose, a water system. In that, we will be able to be seeing in future. Here, the, the place will turn to be green. This particular section of the land, this one is turning very dark. This is not natural soil in itself. This, there are factors that have to been affecting this particular soil. And my theory was, perhaps the residue of the oil industry was thrown, of course, the waste was being emitted to the air and with the presence of the strong temperature, it fell back and then it cooled off and then it resides on top of the soil. There are other sections also that have been affected with the waste of the oil industry here. That is why we can see that. The soil became black. This one. Most particularly this one. It became black. So, I have just explained to you the types of soil we have here near the office. That is in Musafa. Thank you guys.
Thank you.